there is a mouse in my apartment. So I had originally planned to catch and rehab her. What she did was she ran into my sofa, but she didn't make it. And I found her little tiny baby hidden in my blanket. Her baby was in perfect, perfect health. She was happy. She was making little peeping sounds. We put her on a heating pad in a little box. She had no idea what was happening. You're such a good girl. She's three years old now, and I'm still like, this baby, this baby, is she gonna be okay? <laughs> From the moment I met her, she had a very strong personality. I didn't even have to set a timer to know when to feed her. When she was hungry, she would just peep and she would squeak. I used to have to feed her on a tiny paintbrush. And I let her drink it just off the tip. But now she loves sunflower seeds and cooks spaghetti. When I got her first boyfriend, Yellow, I introduced him to her, hoping that he would teach her how to be independent, how to build nests, how to hoard food. And it worked. She was so happy to have a partner. Happy to have somebody to snuggle up to, somebody to play with. and somebody to peel his little Cheerios. <laughs> she also has this little parking garage that she's absolutely in love with. And she just sits on that all day. <sighs> she even dug a hole underneath and she sleeps under it. She's wonderful, a little companion that's just there for me all the time just being able to come home every night and she's happy to see me. Snack. I don't have any good ones. She's completely changed my life. I didn't know that I had a passion for rescuing small animals until I met her. Good girl. Since then I've been taking in lots of different wildlife. And it's all because of Greta.